guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a phenomenal day, week, month. I don't know when you're finally tuning into this channel. Um, but today I'm super excited because VIB Rouge and VIB... What do they even call this? Right now it's just the VIB Rouge sale because they haven't even announced that they're doing anything. Yeah. So right now it's just the VIB Rouge sale. So if you're unfamiliar with Sephora's reward status, I'll try to remember to link that video. I did a video on Sephora versus Ulta, which I do plan on in the next month redoing because both of them have changed their rewards program a little bit. Anyways, but the VIB Rouge sale is coming up. I know VIB members are supposed to also be getting something. The dates are different for VIB. Um, and I don't think Beauty Insider, is Beauty Insider even getting anything? Last year they did. It's up in the air on who's getting what only VIB Rouge has been announced. Yeah, only VIB Rouge has been announced. It's been like rumors and speculations for everyone else. So let's just get into it. So VIB Rouge will be getting 20% off, and that starts on October the 26th, which is this coming Friday. It runs until Monday, October the 29th. Now, if memory serves me correctly, I think I saw something that VIB Rouge is going to get a second one. Yes. On top of it. Um does it say in here? It's on there. Did I just miss it? You did. Where? Right below it. Oh, okay. Our second one is November the 2nd to November the 5th. So it's only a couple days, but it's my favorite time of the year because it's the one time like we actually like will splurge and get certain things that we normally wouldn't get. Um, and also it's a great time to get different holiday sets because they will be on sale. Um, morning with a lot of the holiday sets, especially if it's a big set that everyone's going to be wanting, I don't recommend waiting for a sale if it comes out and you're like, oh my word, it's going to be hot. Like, just go ahead and get it because it might not be available for the sale because it'll be one of the first things to go. Um, so the code this year is going to be Rouge Bonus. Um, if you do not have a Rouge status in your account, don't bother trying it. Well, I guess you could try it, but you're not going to actually get the discount because it knows the status of your account. Um, sorry if I keep looking down, guys. I have a lovely note of all my different recommendations. So I'm just giving off my recommendations on what I suggest on buying. If you're familiar with my Is It Is It Really series, some of the stuff in here has been done. Some of it hasn't been done. Some of it will be done. Um, if there is any set, I know I'm about to do a Sunday Riley, what was the name of that one? As I pull up in my notebook to remember. Do you remember who suggested it? Sarah. Sarah. Um, I did do the research on the Sunday Rise at the Good Jeans Holiday Kit. So that one's coming up. But yeah, if there's any such you want me to do price breakdowns for, just leave in the comments, post on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that lovely jazz, wherever you're more comfortable. Um, yeah, so again, it has not been announced when VIB is getting it. Um, some years, VIB has gotten 20%. Some years, they've gotten 15%. Beauty Star has gotten 15% and 10% before. I think the rumor I heard was VIB is getting 15% for Christmas. So, not quite sure. You never know. Um, for reminders, you cannot use the code on Um And it's also, there's a limit of one Dyson product, three Drunk Elephants, and three Tatcha products. I think per transaction. Per transaction. That's stupid. really weird. Because you can use this coupon multiple times, right? Yes. You can use it multiple times. So if you decide the last second, ooh, I should have gotten this. There's a regular done. Sephora scanner and there's a JCPenney's scan in your email. Yes. Um, so fun times and fluffy rainbows. It can all be combined with any other promotion or code. So like if you see, they always do that. Like if you spend fifty dollars, we give you this beauty bag for a different sample. You cannot use them in combination. You can only use one code. Ulta will just give it to you. But that's beside the point. That's not this video. Um, we were lucky. Um, Sephora is one of the things that they're doing. It's going to be more talked about in the new Sephora Rewards video I'm going to do. Um, but they have started this new, um, in the Rewards Bazaar, they'll put different gift cards. And I was able to get a $100 gift card in the Rewards Bazaar. But I don't know if we're going to be able to combine it with the 20% off, depending on how like the discount thing works. I don't know if it's going to be going into the discount code bar or if it's going into like the gift card bar. It's really weird. I it don't know. It sounds like it excludes it. It sounds like but it we're gonna try. It. We're gonna try. We're we're gonna try it. We're thinking things. Um do 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 why did you put something about Ulta in here? Oh, because we're gonna get our hundred and fifty six dollars Oh yeah, if there's cents. something that Ulta has Highly recommend getting it from Ulta rather than Sephora because Ulta's rewards program is better. Um, I think that's it. Let's just talk about what I recommend. Now, these are just my recommendations. These are just my opinions. You're feel free to crucify me in the comments if you don't like what I recommended. That's cool. I like it. I like reading troll comments. Um, I'm one of 
that's weird. <laughs> it's not like when people troll me, I'm just like, <laughs> you don't affect me. Um, so the first one, I am shocked that they still have it because I remember when it was announced by Urban Decay that Naked was being discontinued and everyone like flipped their lid and mad rush stores, mad rush online, Urban was sold out online, Sephora was sold out online, Ulta didn't even bother having it on the website anymore because they were sold out and then they were selling out quickly in stores and they were getting some and then they weren't getting some, they were only getting 10. It was weird. But he's back in stock, he's still on sale for $27 and you can combine sale stuff with your discount. So keep that in mind. So definitely check out the sales section. Warning, it is overwhelming because it's like they just threw everything. I think there's Christmas stuff in there from like two years ago. It's the junk drawer. I might. Yeah, it's literally the junk drawer. It's like my makeup junk drawer that won't even shut right now. No, it did. Um, next is the Too Faced Peaches and Dream face set. I am so jealous that they have this because I bought Peaches. I bought the entire Peaches with the exception of a couple of little lip oils. I bought pretty much the entire peaches and cream collection when it came out because I was obsessed. It smells so good. I think he's actually back here, the peach palette. Yeah, he is. Um, but I love it. It smells like peaches. It is gorgeous. Um, but they have a set that's supposed to be $110 value. Oh, I can yeah. already tell you it is $110 value unless they're really bad at math, which I have a feeling they're not because, you know, it's just simple math. Um, but it includes the whole peach palette, the sweet peach glow peach infused highlighting palette, and then the sweet peach lip oil in poppin' peach, and if you like lip gloss, it's gorgeous because it looks like a lip gloss, but it doesn't feel like a lip gloss if you don't like those tacky kind of feelings, highly recommend. He is so good, he's so moisturizing. It's only $3 yeah. more than buying the whole palette. Yeah, it is only $3 more than buying the whole palette because the palettes are like $49. Next! Oh, I am so excited because we have always wanted to own Anastasia at Beverly Hills um, eyeshadow palette. We own a few of the highlighting palettes and contouring palettes and stuff like that, but we've never owned an eyeshadow palette because most of their packaging is done with velvet and I, I don't know. I t I'm too like messy sometimes with my makeup and sometimes things will get on it and I'm just like OCD about it. I don't want product to be on packaging and then it can't be removed and that's what happens with Velvet. But their brand new Sultry palette um, is a glitter feeling so it's not a, it's not a Velvet so it's going to be fantastic. It is $3 more than normal palettes though so I don't know if that has any difference. Um, but it's going to be $45. I'm going to get mine for free because I'm going to use my points at Ulta um, because right now Ulta's also doing their 20% off. So make sure if you're a platinum, I think it's platinum and diamond, right? Yes. Platinum and diamond members should have gotten 20% off. Don't quote me on that. Ulta does sometimes, very weirdly, only send it out to like select platinum and diamond members. It's really weird. Don't understand it. Um, next, Sephora does a bunch of these throughout, uh, wait, what does this say? Hang on. I'm looking at sets of my sissy wrote notes and stuff, and so I'm trying to read it. Um, first thing to grab is anything that you regularly use, like your face wash, your shampoo, deodorant that you want to stock up on. Um, that is highly recommended. We've gotten, um, I don't think I have them next to me because I think I took them on vacation, my Ula Henriksen um, facial cleanser. It's the green one. It smells like tea tree. It's magicalness. Um, but that's one of the things you bought them with like 20% off. Um, I think you have a couple of deodorants that you've tried um, that we've gotten during the 20% off. Um, There's just a select couple items, um, your Brioche shampoo, um, just a few different things. So yes, highly recommend doing that. Um, second, if you've been wanting to try perfume, they have a lot of different perfume sets, um, which are really awesome because that can save you on perfume, which you don't normally save, and doing 20% off on top of it makes it a fantastic deal. So they've got the Sephora Holiday Perfume Sample Set, which is $65 and supposed to have a $122 value. It depends on the perfume that you pick up. They include the fact that they have all those little minis in there as part of the price. Um, so you just need to be careful if you're liking, like, I know they've put in philosophy perfumes in there, which their price of the purchase, like the one that you're getting with the redeemed ticket, um, is less than the price of the set. Don't do those. Do look a little into it and see what kind of perfumes are in there, especially if you're gifting it to someone. Um, just for example, the Tom Ford Black Orchid perfume, um, the Redeem voucher in there is for the 1.7 ounce, which is $86. It would only be $52. Oh, sorry. I misquoted. Those are the one it's, ounce. It's the one that. ounce? My bad. Sorry, guys. It's the one ounce. That's the redeemable price. Um, but that is $86. Yes. It is $86. Mistake. Um, but it would only be $52 to get that perfume after the discount because you get... 20% off the $65. Make sense? I hope it does. Um, next, some more Sephora favorites. I love, literally my favorite time of the year is the holidays, Christmas time, because they come out with a ton of Sephora favorites, and they're always so good, and I love them so much, and this next one, I'm literally, 
Uh, I'm trying to like think about all the lipsticks. Like you guys see some of them, like chilly. Like these drawers are full of lipsticks. This is lipstick, 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 more lipsticks, lipsticks. I have a bag. It's in one of my makeup drawers. One of my makeup junk drawers is just like I can probably pull out like six different tubes of lipstick right now. Uh, so I'm trying to tell myself not to get this, but I really kind of want it. I'm currently in the middle of researching that lovely set. So. Next is the Sephora Give Me More Lip Set. It is $68 and supposed to have a retail value of $212. I don't know if that's what it's worth yet. Um, but it has a Charlotte Tilbury in it. It does. That's what's tempting me. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury that's in there, um, it is full size and it's $35, $34. So that's half the price of that set. So I'm kind of like, <gasps> but I'm a little concerned about its color. So always look at that. Don't just look at brands. Look at the shades. See if you're going to actually use that. So definitely look forward to that video. Um, next is the Sephora Skin Wonderland. I'm also trying to tell myself I don't need these sets. I'm in love with one particular product, which is the SK2 um, Facial Treatment Essence. And I don't know what on earth magical rainbow tears they have put in that thing. But immediately it rebalances and calms my skin. And I don't know. I love it. And there's a couple of sets sent in. I'm really tempted to figure out which one I can convince my sister that we need to buy. <laughs> She's like, she's giving me some looks. Um, but the Skin Wonderland set is sixty-four dollars and supposed to be worth two hundred and twenty-five dollars. And I mean, just looking at it, it's got some bum bum. Which also, whoever commented that they love the Tower of Bum Bum, thank you. I love my bum bum. I need to take a picture of this and like send it to Salvation Arrow. I'm a, I'm obsessive. Um, but it also has um Algenest, It's got First Aid Beauty. It's got Tarte, SK two. Um, and I believe that's Ula Henriksen's True Serum, which I know you love. I do. Um, next is Scouted by Sephora. Now there's a couple. This is really odd because normally Sephora favorites all have values on them, and if they don't, that's a humongous red flag of this is not a good set. You probably don't want to buy it. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have to make sure I do price breakdowns of these ones because they have the Sephora favorites scouted by Sephora. So they're a bunch of typically up and coming brands, or up and coming products that are becoming really popular this year. Um, and that set's forty four dollars and has no value. Um, next is Soko to Tokyo. I love the Sokyo and Tokyo set that they did last year, and this one also looks uh, amazing. Um, it is $40, supposed to be worth $119, but it's got like Bosha in it, and SK2. Um, I don't know why I just put the SK2. Um, next is the Sephora Beauty Unmasked, and I already know I'm not going to get this because I literally looked at it and I was like, I think I own every single one of those masks. You do. I do. It's bad. Um, but the um, Beauty Unmasked Sephora Favorites is only $24. Like, that makes such an amazing gift. Like, definitely, if you're looking for Christmas gifts, like, this is the time to buy them. Just stock them up. I know it's October. Just get a bunch of Sephora Favorites. Yeah, just get a bunch of Sephora Favorites. They're always so good. And they can always return it because I hate it. Um, but yeah, it's $24 and it's supposed to have a... I'm struggling seeing this. I don't know why I haven't put on my glasses yet. Um, staring at technology too much and the blue lighting that comes off of it has been giving me like weird spectacle vision. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be worth $64. We will see. It's probably not. Um, next, I have done this set and I do not remember... Wait, have we done this set? Yeah, we've Which done this one? one. The Superstars. Yes, I'll link the video. We'll link the video. I cannot remember how off its pricing was, um, but it's the Sephora Favorite Superstars Kit, not to be confused with the Superstars Kit of the same name with different stuff in there that I have not researched yet. This not the, the white one. Not the white one. This one's the silver looking one. Um, this one's got like Too Faced, it's got Becca, um, it's got Stila, it's got Fenty, um, but it's $75, supposed to be worth $172. It's one in the collectible box. Yeah, the one that's in the collectible box we've not researched yet, right? No, no, this one we have researched. Oh, this one is the one we have researched <laughs> that's supposed to have a collectible box. Weird. Okay. Um, next, I know some of these I have already researched, like this one from Drunk Elephant. Blair, my sister, put a bunch of stuff in my car and screenshotted it for me. <laughs> um, let me see how much he's actually worth. Surprisingly, Drunk Elephant, I was super shocked when I started doing because I've done a couple different Drunk Elephants. Most of them are really on the money. Um, the Drunk Elephant Rescue Party Kit, um, which has, how many arms do you have? One, two, three, four, five? Five? Five. Um, 
but it's $75 and it's supposed to be worth $114. It's actually worth $114.87. I will do a video on that so you can see how each item is broken down. And I think you'll, I don't know, I feel like that's super important to know when you're looking at these kits and stuff, how much you're actually getting. Like, am I getting $75 worth? Am I only getting $50? Why am I spending $75 when I could just spend the $50? I don't know. Um, next is from Dr. Jart, um, which is $52. It is the Superhero Skin Transformation. Dr. Jart is amazing skincare. I adore Dr. Jart. Um, next is from Josie Marin, um, which is their Be Love, Give Love, Argan Firm, and Nurse Power Duo. I don't know why they say duo, because duo refers to two, and there's definitely more than two products in there. I don't know, um, but that one is $52. I know it's got their um, argan oil in there, and me and my sister love that for our hair. Um, next is the Drunk Elephant Inspector Drunk Night Kit, not to be confused with the other one of a very similar name. I literally thought when I was researching them that I was researching the other one when I was researching this one. But yeah, Drunk Elephant Night Kit. Not to confuse with Agent Kali, that's the other one I'm thinking of. Um, so the Drunk Night Kit is $89. We'll do a video on that later. Um, next, I will actually probably purchase this. Um, Bite Beauty, um, it's the Agave Treat Trio Mini Agave Lip Mask Set. It is, I want to say one of them is the Lavender one, which is what really intrigued me. I love it. If you have not tried Bite's um, lip mask, they are insanely amazing. I mean, I know I live in Florida. <laughs> But my lips, the second the seasons start changing, my hands want to turn into like lizard skin and my lips dry out like the Sahara Desert. I literally have like a little mini lip mask that I have been sitting on my desk that I've been putting on before I do anything. Um, so yes, highly recommend that. It's only $18. That's awesome. And Bite sets always come in like cute little boxes. I wish I had one next to me because they are so cute. Um, next, if you've never tried these, these are beautiful. My sister uh, adores them. Um, they're the Cup FX Glam and Glow Liquid Light Set. So it is a set of four of their liquid custom enhancer drops, um, which are super, super pigmented. You have to use a very careful hand with them so you don't overput product on your face. Um, that's only $42. Not the best deal, but... It's not. It's not all these are going to be absolutely amazing. Like, it's going to save you like 57% um, before you get your 20% off discount. Like, no. But a lot of these, they might just be Spurge items that you would normally never try, but you're going to try because you have 20% off. So, like, why not? Um, next, we did buy this. I'm not going to grab him because I know we've been putting a bunch of screenshots up here. Um, it is the Dr. Jart Mask Heroes Face Savers. If you've ever wanted to try a really nice sheet mask that works really well, highly recommend Dr. Jart. Um, it's only $36. Um, next, I did not even know Sephora carried this brand. I knew Ulta today because I've literally touched it. I think it's new. Yeah, it might be. I don't know. Um, but DHU, this set, this one doesn't, I don't think this one has my scrub in it. No. Um, this is the Apple Cider Vinegar Hair Rinse Bundle, which is $35. Their line that has a scrub, oh, this stuff is so amazing. If you have any like issues with your scalp, your scalp's too oily, your scalp has dandruff, like whatever, your scalp's unbalanced, highly recommend this. That's the other vinegar. set. There's two of them in there. The other set has my scrub in it. Mm -hmm. oh. It's got a little. It's got a little packet. It's not a huge thing. No, but... this one must be the one with the little packet because it's got a little. It's got two bottles and then a little thing. Yeah. So the first item is my little hair stuff that I use, the apple cider vinegar rinse, and then the other packet is the stuff that you like to use. Oh, okay. So yeah, this one does have the scrub in it that I like. So I highly recommend it. Love it. Love it. Love it. DHP is one of my favorite brands. My sister is partial to Brio Geo for her scalp. I like DHU better. And I promise the apple cider vinegar smell does come out of your hair because that's not an attractive smell. Um, next is from Clinique. And it's their Prep Perfect set, which is $29.50. I love that Clinique does that. They always are like $29.50 or $27.50. Well, I believe that's like, the same price as the actual full-size moisturizer. That wouldn't surprise me. Which makes everything else um, free. Yes. So I think it's, it looks like it's a three-piece set. Um, but it has a, it looks like probably a full-size moisturizer and two other products, which I think one of them is an eye cream. Don't quote me on that. Um, next, this also looks like it has the um, scrub in it, a little packet of scrub. I think it's conditioner or something. I don't know. Um, but it is from DHU as well, and it's the Apple Cider Vinegar Travel Trio Set. Why do they say trio when there's four items? Mm. Is it because one of them is just a packet so they don't really count it? I think one's a shampoo, one's a conditioner, and I think one was a, um, a spray. Things. 
Um, I don't get it. I don't oh, know. no. It's $30. Highly recommend. Next is the Drunk Elephant Agent Kelly Day Kit. So, versus the Night Kit. So, you know, you can just get your day and night all done up with Drunk Elephant. Cool. Um, but this one is $88. What was your retail value? I wish they put that on these. Uh, on all of them. So, make it easier to read. Um, $138 value. We will see. I'm going to do that video as well. Next, I know this one has the lavender. I really, I really want this one just for the aesthetic. Um, it's the By Beauty Sweet Treats Agave Lip Care Set. It just comes in this cute little jar. And it says Bite Beauty on it. And it's got only three products. It's like a little sample of like I think one of their lip balms. It's got their Agave Lip Scrub, um, which I believe is full size. Um, it might be a mini. I'm not quite sure. Um, and then it's got the lavender um, lip mask, but it's only $12, like, that's so cute, it's, like, it'd make a great, like, teacher gift, it'd make a great stuffing stucker, um, stuffing, st what is stuffing? Stuff Does anyone know sometimes I speak very oddly, like, I'm a slur my words into a brand new word that doesn't exist? Stocking. Stocking. Stuffer. Um, uh, but yeah, it's only $12, I think it's adorable, I think we're gonna have to get that sissy. Yes. Um, yay! I love when we immediately agree on something. Um, next, we actually already have this, and the stuff smells so heavenly. Um, it is the Briogeo Super Foods Hair Pack, which is $48. It's a shampoo and conditioner, and smells like apples and matcha, um, which is green tea. It just it smells so refreshing and so nice. I love it, love it, love it. Um, next is from Benefit, which is their Magical Brow Stars Block. Buster brow set, which has a remember some crazy. It's precisely my brow goof proof cub brow. Um, their full proof brow, which is their powdered version. Um, it's got the brush, gimme brow. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think it's six items. Um, but it's only fifty nine dollars. Normally their brow stuff retails for isn't it twenty four? Something like that. Something like that. It's an amazing set, and if I had not just bought the Bigger Broader Brow set from Benefit, I would have bought this one. Highly recommend. I think they only have a couple shades. It's not really only three one. and five at three Sephora. Five. I don't know what I don't know about Ulta. I'm not sure about Ulta either. Ulta sometimes they will get another extra shade over Sephora just because Ulta and Benefit have like the contract thing. They usually only have like um, one, three, and five, I think, or one. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, um, like anyway, Shade 3 is the most universal. I highly recommend that. Next is the Beauty Blender Sweet Indulgence Set. So if you need Beauty Blenders, great time to stock up because the set is only $65 and only Beauty Blenders retail for $20 a piece. So that's $15 savings right there. And it comes with cute little solid cleanser soaps. Um, so I highly recommend that. It comes in a blue, a green, a pink, and a yellow. Um, and then last, <laughs> like we need more. Like you guys don't see like, here I'll pull open the store. Hang on guys. As I try not to knock over it. You guys don't ever see my desk, but I'll show you one of the things that's on my desk. I have a set of acrylic drawers that hold some of my makeup. And for some reason, I thought I would put my little travel bum bums in there. Because you know what goes great with highlighters? Some bum bum lotion. So these are just a bunch of the little travel ones that aren't sitting here. I have another big one and more of these stuff. Like, oh, it's, it's all over the freaking house. But I don't mind it. I love it. I think they, I think it smells so good. So they have the Sol de Janeiro Biggie Biggie Bum Bum Cream. I only want to get it for the stack. I know it sounds so stupid. Um, it's $35. It is a 16.9 ounce. And this guy is a 8.1 ounce. And he's normally $45. So he's a pretty good deal. Um, he's not the best deal we could possibly get. Because we've gotten Bum Bum for $19 on Fit Fun. Which is normally where I buy my Bum Bum now. Um, but it's, it's amazing. If you've never tried this lotion, highly recommend it. I love it. It's so nice and tightening. I love it. It's a noxious container. Yeah, it is. It's a really big because it's like they didn't like widen this like how they've done it with these and just made them like slightly bigger. He's literally like taller. Like I think the bottle comes up to about here. So, anyway, so just a word of a warning if you're going to try something new, please go and get a sample of it first. Don't just like buy it and then end up hating it. Um, or at least keep your receipt. Now, big thing when Sephora does return, Sephora has like this. It's their weird return policy system. They will return, you can return anything to Sephora, but they do scan your ID and your ID can get flagged in the system. And other companies also use the same system. So if you do too many returns on your ID, um, it can flag you through this entire system of account. And so I'm trying to remember who else uses it besides Sephora. I know one of their employees was telling me because like the same 
the other company, even though you never did a return with them, could deny your return because you've done too many returns. If that makes any sense. It's really weird. I hate that. Anyway, so I definitely recommend getting a sample of it first. So go tomorrow uh, and get a sample. Um, but yeah, if you don't like it, you can always take it back and get something else. There is a huge bomb that Sunday Bailey is having with their employees that they, um, so if you haven't heard, there was a video that someone, that a employee from Sunday Riley did. That's one of the reasons, I'm like, I'm really hesitant to do, the only reason I'm doing the video on the Sunday Riley set is because someone asked for it. Um, so if you're looking at Sunday Riley stuff, don't trust their reviews. Sunday Riley's actually released a statement that they do ask their employees to write at least three good reviews on their products. Um, so... Looking at a Sunday Riley review of like a 4.5 like star rating could be completely false and it could be actually like a 3.1 rating which means most people don't like it. Um, I think that's terrible. I think that's very shady of Sunday Riley. Um, I think it's interesting that they're just like, yeah, we do this. Cool. I mean, that doesn't like... <sighs> My thing with it, it doesn't, I think, devalue their... Well, I guess it does kind of devalue their brand. It doesn't mean that a product of theirs does it work? If it works for you, that's cool. If you're willing to pay the money for it, that's cool. Um, just, just take it with a grain of salt. Just, I don't know. I don't personally buy things going off of reviews, but that's also because I have a Sephora. I have multiple. Sephora. I've got JCPenney Sephora and I've got Red Sephora in my area. So, like, I can touch and try and feel and talk to employees that have personal reviews on products. I know, um, oh, what is her name? She, um, she always works at the Sephora skin counter. Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. I was thinking because I think of Bobby Brown. Um, but she's she's very knowledgeable in skincare, and so, like, if she recommends Sunday Riley, like, I'm like, okay, that's cool, because she's actually tried it and has positive reviews on it. Um, but, yeah, just going off of their reviews, I'd be aware of that. Um, yeah, there's only, like, two products that my sister's trying to actually watch. I have, actually don't know if I've ever tried anything from Sunday Riley. Um, but that is it for this video. Don't forget, we do have a giveaway going on. I will link the contest in either the cards or description. I don't know, can we leave? Description. Description. Okay. It'll be in the description. Um, so you can go see all that lovely jazz. We're giving away actually a Sephora favorites lip set. Um, but that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to get a notification on my videos get uploaded, make sure you hit the little notification bell down below. And that's it for this video. Stay boxy.